Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangstress Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1969 Plymouth GTX. Uh, what we're going to do is do our walk around on the car uh, as we normally do, and starting at the front. Uh, first thing you'll notice, it does still have the uh, fender mounted uh, blinkers there on both sides. And mainly the first thing you notice is the paint. It is in the correct color of the Spanish Gold Metallic that the vehicle did come in. Um, you also see here it does have the bended hood with the 440 emblems. That is indeed what's in it. And we're going to go over that as we get to that section. Next, uh, you see it does have the stainless wheel well moldings and that four corners with the uh, steel chrome with black insert Magnum 500 wheels with the BF Goodrich radio TA raised white leather tires at all four corners. Uh, coming back to our first gap, driver's side, fender to door. Very even going down. You see we also have the uh, rocker, the lower body bolting here, and then the bottom of the car is black. So we've got a two-tone gold and black bottom. Gap very nice. You see our body of iron lines up right on the money there. Our bright work on the car is in really nice shape. We do have a couple of indentations and scratching here and there, but that's to be expected. Overall, pretty nice. And our driver's side windshield, no chips and cracks. And the driver's side glass, no chips and cracks, and this is slightly tinted. Uh, one thing I'll bring up before we move on to our second gap is the roof. It is a vinyl top, a black vinyl top. Very nice condition. I don't see no rips or tears or any rips and tears. This side here, very nice condition, and our seat here is nice and flat and smooth. Second gap driver's side. Door to quarter panel. Very even going down. See our body line lines up right on the money there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to open up the driver's side door so you can see the interior from this point of view. Vinyl black uh, bucket front seats, full length console, automatic on the floor, 727. Dash is in great shape. Door panels, carpet, really nice interior on the car. Moving along, um, you will see before we go back to the back of the car, we do have the GTX emblems here, and then that is on both sides. Coming to the back window, no chips and cracks in the back window. The bright work, also in good condition. Our gapping on our trunk. The whole way around, parallel to here in your quarters, very nice and even the whole way around. Coming around to the back, um, our bumper chrome is in great condition, really nice bumper. We do have the dual exhaust, as you can see, sticking out down there with the reverse lights in the bumper. Um, our top panel here, our tail lights and bezels, very nice condition there, no chips and cracks, and also our tail panel here, really nice with the GTX emblem there. What we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the trunk. We'll go over the floor and everything in here. Underneath the trunk, you'll see it is body color. Our jam, very nice shape all the way around. Weather stripping intact. Inside the trunk here, you see our trunk floor. We have all your grommets for your drains all present. You have your Factory mounts up there for your spare. Floors in great shape. You do have all your indentations and embossments here. As you can see, everything is intact and all painted body color. Moving along, coming over to the passenger side. The paint on the car is very nice, very smooth and glossy the whole way around. Really nice color. Um, coming up here, uh, before I move on, I'll address the um, vinyl top again. Very nice condition, no rips and tears. Um, don't see anything showing on this side either. Our seam is also nice and flat. Um, looking at our glass here, our passenger side glass, no chips and cracks, and also has, just like the other side, slightly tinted. Here's our GTX emblem and our chrome side molding with the black bottom as the other side has. Our first gap passenger side quarter panel to door. Body line lines right up on the money. Our gap is very even as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the passenger door and uh, show you the interior from this point of view. Get a nice uh, look at the seats from this side and the console. Very nice condition. The 
door panels, your steering wheel, your dash pad, and uh, your glove box and so on all look very nice. Moving along, second gap passenger side, door to fender. Very nice and even going down, and your body line lines right up on the money there. Passenger side of the windshield, very nice condition. Our hood gapping, nice and parallel to the fenders, and nice and parallel to the cow area in the back here as well. Coming around to the front, bumper chrome on the front, really nice shape, uh, just like the back. Headlight bezels, nice shape, a couple little chipping of the gray material here, but overall pretty nice. Our grill is in nice condition, of course we've got our GTX M1 right there in the front. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood and we'll go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood here, uh, we do have our seal. We have body color on the hood, aprons, fireball, everything has been painted body color under here. Um, what we have engine wise is a 440 um, big block V8. Um, we have air conditioning here as well. We have power steering and power brakes. A lot of options on this car. Um, we have the stock intake, cast intake with a four barrel Edelbrock AVS carburetor. Uh, stock style manifolds, uh, stock style coil and radiator and so on. A lot of power here. This is also the numbers matching engine that came in this vehicle. Uh, so we have the correct color in, numbers matching with AC and uh, power steering, power brakes. Really nice package here, really loaded up. Beautiful car. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put this up in the air and show you the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our 69 GTX up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage here as we normally do, starting at the front. Um, control arms look to be of the stock style. We do have a front sway bar on the vehicle. Um, our front cross member, nice and solid. I see holes, rust, or anything on that. Um, our oil pan. On our 440 VH, our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our 727 automatic torque plate, and our output seal, all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks in those whatsoever. Our transmission cross member looks really nice. Um, we do have dual exhaust on the vehicle coming off stock style manifolds, coming back to this point with a crossover pipe going into a stock style type muffler. Pipes go over the axle and out the back and we'll go over that as we get back there further. Our front frame sections look good. Look good. Uh, coming back, we do have our e-brake cable here. Our flooring Looks good, we got our drain there and there. I got all your embossments there, indentations here as well. Got all your fixtures here, your mounts, your frame pieces here on both sides. All your embossments, floor looks good. Uh, we do have an undercoating on the underside of the body here. Coming on back, uh, we do have a balanced drive shaft. Um, we have leaf spring suspension on the back of the vehicle with a, uh, Monroe shocks. Um, our spring mounts front look good. And rear shackles or hangers look good. Look good. Um, our input seal and our differential and our rear differential cover seal nice and dry. I don't see any leaks there whatsoever either. Um, here's our mufflers, tailpipes go up, over, and out the back on either side of the fuel tank. Um, we have drum brakes on this vehicle at all four corners, front and rear. Um, our rear frame sections look good. Look good. Our fuel tank. Looks good, it's painted as well. Straps look good. Here's our tailpipes coming out the back here. Flooring above the rear differential looks all good there. 
mounts look good on there. Our cross member here all looks nice. All in all, looks pretty good under here. What we're going to do now is drop it down, fire it up to hear the engine run. 